Hello viewers, today I'm going to present another new project, uh, SP.NET Web API project. So here is our uh, project. We uh, I already run this project. If I uh, log in using username and password. So let me just log in as a super admin. Uh, I'm just logging as a super admin. Uh, so login successful. So this is uh, the overall dashboard, recent registered user and uh, how many employees, total employee type, employee type basically drop down data department designation user role so uh, if i summarize this application this application basically uh, complete user management with dynamic role management you can create role and based on the role user will access this application um just log out and uh, just giving you the project overview from the code base I just run this project from VS Code. So we have uh, three projects. First one is Web API project. Uh, note that we have used .NET 6.0 and Entity Framework Core and MS SQL. This application also supports the MySQL. And we have uh, like uh, front end uh, project is separate and uh, model project is data library project. So if you uh, run this project, what will be the manual? So just give me uh, give give you the basic overview how we can run this project. So first you have to go to the uh, API project and uh, open this terminal. I already opened this terminal, and you have to configure application .json. So uh, here is my connection string. Uh, I, you can pass without username and uh, password for Windows authentication. Also, the SQL server for you using username and password and MySQL as well. I just pass uh, second one. So once you successfully uh, configure SQL server connection, uh, then you have to build and run the project so that API project is uh, run successfully. So I'm just running. Uh, the api project now so build is going on build success uh, run so once api project runs successfully then you have to make sure what port what port number is listening the uh, api project so api project is port number is 5028 so we have to configure 5028 uh, as a base url in the front end project so i'm going to the front end project in the application.json JSON file, you have to configure API base URL. I already configured uh, like 5008. Also, uh, once you're running from the HTTPS from the VS Code Visual Studio, then it might be 5029. And also, you have to configure the client base URL for sending email from the client side. So, once you are going to send the email uh, from the client side, so client base URL will use for uh, redirecting the uh, login or also the confirmation uh, user registration. So I'm um, uh, just running the client project. So let me build. API project is running. So if I have a client project build successfully, then I run the client project. Uh, build is going on so i'm just uh, running the client project then we can log in mm, as a admin user yes so client project is listening uh 5030 so if i go back to my application and here is the 5030 enter so Yes, so but just you can copy the username and password and log in into the application. Uh, so we can successfully log in into the application and as, as we can see the dashboard and uh, let me give you the summary overview how you can run this project. So you have to extract this code and then go to the build the api project and make sure the database connection what database you are going to use and uh, I'm just going to use SQL Server and uh, authentication using username and password, not Windows authentication. And uh, using the 5030 uh, port is running the API project. And then you have to go back to like client project. And in the client project application settings uh, is nothing, just empty. Uh, you have to configure the base URL only. 
so here is the API page URL. So if you configure these things uh, perfectly, then you can able to run this project. Also, one more uh, guideline uh, for you, how you can get the server name. And first you have to install the SQL server, then you can, uh, you have to get, you have to get the your server name and username and password. So this is my server name, my username and password. So this is the basic overview of this application from the code base. And if we uh, go back to the application, uh, then uh, go to the user management, uh, then uh, we have a listed user, default user. Uh, we, we have already have uh, some users. So if I create a new user, just for test purpose, uh, test user and employee, this is the drop down data. And I'm just putting the random number uh, like a at the red gmail.com password one, two, three. Confirm password one, two, three. And user rule, I'm selecting general user rule so that uh, uh, we can differentiate the admin user rule and general user rule. I will log out and log in using this, this user uh, name and password. Save. User is creating. So hopefully, uh, uh, we can we can check the successful masses user created successfully username a at the gmail.com and if we go to the user detail then we have a user details and we can edit the user reset password manage page access and delete the user as well so all operation is performing just through the api call we used uh, rest sharp api as a client so i will explain from the code base as well how we uh, how we connecting the API and calling the API from the API project. And I'm signing out again. So a at the rate gmail.com and password just one, two, three, login. So if I log in, so this uh, user is uh, just a dashboard is empty and this user cannot access other page because this is the general user but if you uh, update this user and change the general user to uh, so admin user then this user can able to check all the pace and also you can create another uh, a role and that that role can might be have five pace so that role a uh, user can access only five pace so i'm just signing out again and uh, login again as a super admin user so can i can give you the complete project overview so dashboard i already explained the summary of this application and the recent register user user management is complete crude operation and uh, we have performed like a reset password using the email confirmation password using the email and the forget password also the email we have used identity uh, for user management and uh, this grid view is uh, we have used jquery data table and designation designation searching and sorting all uh, operation per performed from the jquery data table and manage user rule you can create uh, uh, what what you want uh, based on your needs uh, so here is the total page so you can uh, select all page for this new rule also you can uh, select some listed page for this rule and once you are going to create new user so using that uh, rule you can assign that user and system role so basically this is uh, what we have created a role and login history this application is monitoring the login history so that you can check the login user login history and one of the major uh, technical feature is audit trail this application is supported audit trail you can check all data operation here like create and uh, create an update operation and using the basic nation is uh, jquery data table is uh, pretty faster on the system setting you can uh, uh, configure drop down data so these are the crude operation basically all crude operation we have uh, performed using web api and department sub department also on important things like email configuration so a uh, gmail smtp is dynamic so currently like uh, first one is default using this email we are sending the reset password email uh, user confirmation so all the things using this first email employee type common info identity setting email setting so these are the basic things and also this application is supported uh, multi-language currently is english language if i select the arabic then it will uh, move to the arabic language with dynamically uh, 
changing the sidebar from left to right. So this application is supported uh, multi-language with a dynamic menu moving often as well. So this is the uh, overview from the uh, user end. And if we go back to the code base, uh, then I already explained we have uh, two projects. First one is Web API project. And second one is a client project. Uh, for client project, most of the case, like grid view, we have used jQuery and uh, view like uh, user details. Uh, these are the model and uh, board step model. We have uh, created a library for more, every time calling the model and viewing uh, this information. Uh, we pull data using API call and in the API call, we joining the link query for joining different table. And finally, we displaying data using uh, using a uh, razor view so these are the razor view and if we go back to the code base again so i already explained how you connect the your server and run two different project so now i will explain uh, how you communicate api to use a client project also just give you one more uh giving you one more uh project technical overview this project is uh code first and uh if you just run the project, uh, first make sure you have a uh, right database connection. If your database connection is right and if you build this success, then if you run the project, automatically database will create, no need to create database manually and all uh, seed data. Here is the data and seed data, all the light uh, test, drop down data test, user data will be created in the database. So this is the uh, overview of application uh, running and uh, how we communicate api project to client project so i'm just going to give you one uh, controller overview so if i go to the like uh, uh, let's say designation api so here we have the designation api we are getting a uh, get all designation and we have a, a repository like generic repository all code operation we are performing generic repository so we have a, a repository if we go to the data and here is uh, our generic repo using this generic repo we are performing a crude operation like in delete update insert using the entity framework code so we are getting get all and if we go to the client project and uh, go to the controller designation here is the designation so how we get the uh, get all uh, uh, designation here is the api client service so we have used api client rest api service using this service we are uh, by passing the sub url so we have a sub url like uh, get all so designation api so, so you have to pass always uh, your api your controller based uh, api sub url name then it will uh, pull data mm -hmm. like get all so we uh, we are getting data and passing uh, this data and this is uh, basically viewing uh, uh, jquery and data table and if we go to the designation um, here is the designation so this is the jquery data table we are displaying data also from other operation like uh, details we are uh, pulling data using the clients api client service get by id and from a uh, uh, add edits we are just uh you you directly calling from the uh, front in uh, javascript so let me give you just front in javascript so as i explaining uh add edit operation so this is just viewing the model for uh, add operation just uh, let me call the add so this is empty so once i add input like uh, test and uh, TBD. Then once I click the save button, then what will action will call from the code base? Then we have to go to the, um, the JavaScript. So in the www road folder, I'm just going to yes from the front end uh, front end project and uh, go to the ww road and js so you have a, you will get the folder controller wise uh, controller wise folder 
like designation so we go to the designation so designation crude operation here so what we have done here if i click the save button and then uh, i just pass the ipa controller name and from name so i have created save generic of a uh, function so it will call the save base and passing the controller name from name and jquery database and then automatically save the database also for delete uh, a base uh, generic function so save and delete operation is performing from uh, front end so it will directly call the uh, api project and from displaying a uh, data and uh, grid data it will uh, calling from the front end controller project so i just explain one uh, crude operation just a designation so for note that uh, for all crude operation using entity format code, entity framework code we have used uh, generic uh, crude generic uh, repository pattern also the api uh, crude operation as well so uh, in this application like we have performed crude operation loading uh, drop down data if we go to the uh, user management then you can see the drop down data also in the drop down you can search uh, this is the select to drop down also this is the modal also the tab view and for technical perspective you can uh, get the multilingual feature uh, audit trail and login history identity sp.net identity complete user management and the web api project how web api project is communicating with the client project and we have used uh, rest sharp uh, client and configuration of jw token and uh, refresh token as well so we have uh, uh, we have created JW token and refresh token. So here is the authentication API for creating JW token and refresh token. So if token expired, then using the refresh token, we get the uh, valid uh, token again for longer, for next time period. So if you are interested uh, uh, to get this project with complete source code and documentation, then uh, you are most welcome. Just uh, go to the code canyon. Here is the link and get it with complete latest source code. So uh, this is uh, ASP.NET API template starter kit and you can get it from code canyon if you are interested and you will get the complete source code. We have used ASP.NET 7.0 and uh, technical summary is uh, technical summary is like uh, so this is code first project and we for database we have used ms sql server also this application is supported mysql and uh, we have used link for joining to query all the queries we have uh, written in the code uh, uh, api controller no need we have to write the stored procedure and also this app, uh, this application is complete user management so using this application you can you can consider the base application for project and the client project and based on your business you can write a lot of business logic in the api project and based on the, the data you can show the uh, your data into the client project so we have performed like grid operations and uh, uh, viewing data and edit data and also delete that all operation and we have uh, used like uh, at uh, modal um, so all uh, all all crude operation is performing without uh, so this is the more uh, uh, sweet alert and if i just click uh, yes it will delete and refresh the grid without uh, page loading see so uh, without page loading uh, refresh the grid and if i add a like a new role so uh, super admin so you have to select the rules take all and save so it will save without create the new rule without uh, page loading so uh, we have performed all crude operation without page loading using the uh, api call so hopefully uh, we have covered uh, most of the things in this application and uh, the latest technology so if you are interested and like this project just go, go to the code canyon and uh, feel free to share your feedback so that we can incorporate in this application in the next release thank you everyone uh, see you in the next video